Hi, this is Mrs. Bracken, and I'd like to read to you The Suitcase by Chris Naylor Ballesteros. A strange animal arrived one day, looking dusty, tired, sad, and frightened. He was pulling a big suitcase. Hey, hi there. What's in your suitcase? My suitcase? Well, there's a teacup. A teacup? That's a big suitcase for a little teacup. Yes, I suppose it is. But there's a table for my teacup and a wooden chair for me to sit on too. There's a table and a chair in your suitcase? Impossible. Well, it's his suitcase. But a table and a chair? Really? Yes. And there's a little kitchen in a wooden cabin where I make my tea. That's my home. It's on a hillside surrounded by trees. And on a clear day, you can see the sea. It's all there in my suitcase. But I'm sorry, I'm really very, very tired. I've been traveling for a long time and come a long way. I must have a little rest. What a strange animal. I've never seen anything like him before. Neither have I, but we really should let him sleep for a while. Well, I don't trust him. How do we know he's telling the truth? There's only one way to find out. Someone pass me a big rock. We're going to break open the suitcase and see what's inside. Maybe we should. We need to know the truth. You can't do that. It's not ours. In no time at all, the suitcase was opened. See? A broken teacup and an old photograph. He lied to us. Well, no, he did say there was a teacup. Yes, and now his suitcase is broken too. What will he think of us? Meanwhile, the sleeping stranger dreamed about running away and hiding, about climbing over mountains and swimming across deep waters. And he dreamed about his suitcase and all that he had inside it. When he finally woke up, he couldn't believe what the other animals had done. I'm sorry, I broke your suitcase. We fixed it as best we could. And we've been busy while you were sleeping. We hope you like it. Thank you. It's, it's perfect. There's just one tiny problem. We're going to need more teacups. The End The Suitcase by Chris Naylor Ballesteros. Thanks for listening. Bye.